It's absolutely massive news day today, as it is the final day of the Convex Vibe Week, where we've been launching new AI-related features every single day. Now, those other days have been great, and you should totally check them out, but today, today is something special. Today, I finally get to show something that the whole company's been working tirelessly on for weeks. So, drum roll, please. Today, I'm proud to announce Convex Chef. It's an app that lets you go from idea to working full stack application in a matter of minutes. And I think the best way to show it off is to, well, show it. So let's build an application together. First thing you want to do is go to chef.convex.dev and then you might need to log into Convex. But once you're in there, you should see this, which is the main prompt window. At the bottom, we have a couple of different pre-built prompts, but I think we're going to make our own up here. So I'm just going to paste this one in here that I prepared earlier. And so while that's cooking, I'll explain what we're going to build. So we're going to build an app called Mikestagram, which is a mic version of Instagram. And we're going to have it so it's going to look really nice uh, and it's going to be responsive. And we're going to have it on desktop. We're going to have a sidebar and a mobile. We're going to have the buttons down the bottom. We're going to be able to upload images, obviously like Instagram. We're going to have a global feed of images. And then hopefully you're going to be able to have, we're going to have a profile feed. So you can have your own image feed. While that's still cooking, let's talk a little bit about uh, the layout of this app here. So on the left-hand side, we have obviously the agent where it's doing all, generating all the image, uh, all the code for us. And on the right-hand side, we have the code, the code base that's generated. Um, we have down here the terminal, your, your dev terminals. If you want to run dev commands, you can. Um, and then we have the preview tab, which will uh, automatically light up for us once it's finished generating. And then we have this third tab, which is the database. And this is our Convex dashboard. And if you're familiar with Convex, you'll notice that this looks very similar, if not exactly the same as a Convex dashboard. And we'll talk a little bit more about that one in a minute once this is finished generating. So uh, let's just wait for this to finish now. And here we go. We are in Mikestagram. So uh, interestingly, just a little inside baseball here. I have run this a few times and it's done slightly different things each time, but here we go. Let's just try this. So mike at gmail.com. That's not really my, and we'll use a highly complex password. Oops, sorry, sign up. There we go, sign up. There we go. No Bitwarden, we shouldn't remember that. Okay, no Chrome, we shouldn't remember that, thank you. Okay, um, now we should be able to upload an image. Great, let's pick an image like that one. And okay, the whole sidebar changed there. Again, this is different from the last time I did this. Oh, but there we go. Great. We see our image. Fantastic. Normally it lets me add a caption or something to this image, but no, not this time. Okay, no worries. Let's add another image. Um, me with a shaved head. Why not? Great. And there it is. My second image uploaded. So we should be able to view this. Yeah, there we go. In mobile. So we see the options. It's not exactly what I wanted. But um, maybe maybe we can prompt it to something different. Um, let's try. Um, when in mobile mode, can you make it so that there is no text on the buttons at the bottom? Let's see what it does now. There we go, it's done it. Awesome. Oh, it's asking me to sign in again. Uh, is that just a... I think that was, oh no, it is just an artifact. Okay, let's try that, sign in again. Mike at gmail.com, highly complex password. And we're, no, no, why do you guys keep, okay, we're in. Fantastic, and it's gotten rid of the buttons at the bottom. So if we, and we make it bigger, we should get our sidebar back. Is that right? Yeah, we do, great. Awesome, I think um, the next thing we wanna do, I think here is maybe make it so I can delete an image. Uh, maybe what we'll do is we'll make it so we can please make it so when I click an image, it opens full screen in a modal. Also make it so I can delete an image from this full screen view. And we'll see whether it's able to do that for us as well. Awesome. So it's finished. It says it's finished the updates and it should be working. I'm not sure why it keeps asking me to do this again, but okay, we'll do it again. Mike at gmail, gmail.com. Okay, let's sign in again. 
No, Bill, no Chrome, go away. Okay, and now, so we should be able to click on an image like this one. Oh, cool. And then we have a, can we close? Yep. And then we should be able to delete this. Is this going to work? Hey, it deleted it. Awesome. Fantastic. So, oh, and we click on like that. So while I'm here, one thing I want to show is the convex database. So if we go into here, we can see all our tables and we should have one with our image in it. Yeah, we do right here. Awesome. So we could like, for example, we can go in here. We could actually, what I'll do is I'll just pop this out. Oh, that pops out to the whole dashboard. Great. I didn't know that. Um, if we pop this out, then we will pop out to the preview. So we should be able to, if I alter this, we should be able to see these likes. Oops, that's a bug. Um, we should be able to see these likes go up. So let me just move this off to the side over here. And then we should be able to see these likes go up here. This likes counter go up. I set to 99. Yeah, there we go. Great. So, um, so this is one of the things I want to just highlight here that is maybe a key feature of, of Chef is that because the dashboard is baked right in there, you can go in and tweak the data. You can see how the tables are structured and just get a better understanding of how what the Chef has done to build your app. So, taking it from the realm of just purely vibe coding to something that hopefully you might be able to maintain for a little bit longer going forward. And obviously not only that, we also have, you know, all the other great convex features like, you know, the ability to see the stats on the function calls. We can even run a function directly from here if we want to. We can see our files that have been uploaded, our scheduled functions, logs, history, and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, it's great. One last thing I want to show here is this deploy feature. So say we're happy with this now, we can, press this deploy button and what it's going to do is going to build it, upload it and give us a URL that we can then use and pass to our friends and family, for example. I actually did do this with my family in our family group chat and we were uploading images and having a great time with this. And because it's you know, all done within Chef, I could customize it and add little features that my family members requested. It was, it was fun. Okay, so it's finished deploying. So if I click view site here, we should see our cool app that we built. And it's asking me to sign in again. Of course it is, mike at gmail.com. By the way, my email address is not mike at gmail.com, but it's quicker to type. Okay, so go, no, go away, Chrome, no. But there we go, we're logged in. So now I should be able to uh, stick this URL into my phone as well. So give me a second. Okay, so here we have it. Uh, I'll type in my email address again for the 19th time. Uh, not email address. Okay, and we can sign in. Awesome. And then I should be able to take a photo and upload it. So let me turn the camera around. Hello. We use that photo. Uh, you might. Oh, there we go. And it's loaded on the desktop and on my phone. Fantastic. I think I'll just leave it at this point. Um, I mean, we could spend all day tweaking this and adding new features and stuff, but um, this video would uh, be a bit of an epic if I did that. So we'll just leave it at this, I I'd say. As you've seen, I think we're off to a great start. You can get the basics of your app going very, very quickly and then deploy it and share it with others. But what's coming up is what I'm really excited about. Um, personally, I would, I'm really looking forward to having like a really good um, code syncing solution. So although you can download your code right now, what I would love to have is a way that I can go from Chef to Cursor or Windsurf and then back again and then just have that whole loop. So I get a really excellent convex experience, but then I also get my familiar tool set that I have um, inside my IDE. Other than that, I'm also excited to see some of the MCP work that we announced earlier this week um, make its way into Chef. So for example, I would love to be able to have to ask Chef to modify my table for me or to add some like mock data and then it's able to just directly interface with the database or have it um, analyze the performance data for a function and then understand the code and then go back and modify the code for me. I think that would be excellent to have baked into Chef. I think just having that whole loop there of going from idea to working app to deploy to analyze the performance and then feed that all back into the AI to, to just close that loop. It's just gonna be super powerful. So I think one of the big reasons why this feels so good and works so well is the 
a lot of the hard work that we've been doing over the last few months on the AI evals. Um, and if you'd like to learn more on that, I did a video on that a couple of weeks ago. You can check it out here. But I think we're going to leave it there. Uh, if you have any thoughts, comments, whatever, just leave them down below or hop into Discord and come poke me and say hi. Um, until next time, thanks for watching. Cheerio.